So this is really a great opportunity for me and for both of us because we sure. haven't had a chance to meet yet really uh, at any length. So, well, I, so, I mean, obviously you had some sort of natural affinity for it, but I mean, what kind of influences got you there in the first place, like to give you that? Is there some influences in your past, like your upbringing, something that was... I was always interested in fragrances. Um, I have very nice and beautiful memories, I believe, like every perfumer. Uh, things like uh, my dad using Old Spice, mm. the old fragrance, shaving every morning using the, the aftershave. It's, yeah. You know, every time I smell it, it's like he's next to me. Yeah. You know, I remember nice. things like when I was 14 years old, that's the first time I ever bought a fragrance, which was Azaro for Men. Mm. And Sophisticated 14-year-old. What, what about you? I mean, when, when did you know that you wanted to be a perfumer or how did you get into the industry? Uh, for me, yeah. I mean, they say you're either born into it or you yeah. stumble in by accident. Yeah. I'm definitely an accident in this business. So. Okay. And I saw an entry-level job in the environmental department of one of the major fragrance houses, not knowing what a fragrance house even okay. was. And it was convenient close to my home. So I took it and um, I immediately just fell in love with the materials. You know, there were these amazing oils and resins and everything from the names, you know, to the, the look, appearance of the things, you know, some, yeah. some solid resins and some really unctuous liquids and, you know, things that were exotic to me, a guy from basically the woods in the Northeast here, you know, growing okay. up uh, completely out of any kind of fragrance environment, as you, as you can imagine. I fell in love with those, started making my own little blends of things just for fun, and uh, one of the perfumers saw that I had an interest in trained me, took me under her wing and, okay. you know, really gave me an opportunity, so. You have to make something out of whatever materials you happen to find, you know? Yeah. Like when you have a challenge and you just have to come up with a note, maybe it's a note that doesn't exist and you gotta okay. create it anyway. So it's, it's not really that different, it's just another kind of mental challenge, you know, a puzzle. How do I make that note without being able to use the thing I always used before, you know? Okay. And that kind of makes yeah. it interesting.